this is MJ with Creative Minds and today we're going to be talking about glass cabochons and how to paint the back to make them look really cool. There's this big one that we do today. So this is the example we're going to be doing today. So if you watch this video and we have helped you out in any way, please subscribe to our channel for more. We do lots of jewelry videos, uh, polymer clay videos. We incorporate wire at some times and wire weaving as well as we do lots of artwork, jewelry mostly. So here we go. If you want to see how this is made, just keep watching. So the main one I'm going to work on right now is the large pupil here so that you can see pretty well what I'm doing. You hear my dogs on that so anyway <laughs> that being said we're going to use black for the pupil. Jet black okay we're going to use these three colors I know they aren't really you know colors that are <laughs> exactly would go together naturally uh, go together but they will work on an eye you can use any colors you want and that's what I'm going to do as an eye this is metallic yellow made by clean color this is called metallic orange made by clean color and this is made by ILNI and it's called Cameo and this one has the color properties in it that change color depending on which direction the nail is facing. It might be kind of green, it might be kind of orange, it might be kind of purple. Mostly it's purple but it does take different hues depending on the lighting. And so we're going to start by doing the black pupil and I'll, most of this will be on high speed so you'll see exactly what I'm doing and you can hopefully follow along and I'm only doing this I'm going to do just a very basic eye. Uh, you can do this when you see my technique of scraping. I call it scratching. When you see that technique come across when I use an instrument such as this, uh, you can do the coloring and the scratching as many layers as you want. I'm just going to do a very basic eye for the purposes of this tutorial so that you're not watching it forever. But you can make a very, very defined and interesting looking eye by using many colors and many, and many layers of scratching. Okay, so we'll move forward now.